I'm Jess. And I'm Justin. We're travel bloggers and apparently amateur travel vloggers. And this is the Alto F2114 by Safari Condo. Fixed roof, 21 feet, first floor plan, sleeps four. When we initially picked up this trailer, we made a first impressions kind of video after just 24 hours in it with our initial thoughts and expectations of what it would be like. Now, after having living and working in it for over a year, we're ready to give you a more comprehensive review of this trailer and all of its features. Before living in this trailer, we traveled around in the Alto R1723. This is a 17 foot teardrop trailer, also made by Safari Condo, that has panoramic. <laughs> panoramic. It has pan <laughs> panoramic views. <laughs> These two trailers have totally different vibes. And in fact, after we picked this one up, we were kind of left missing the Alto R1723. But after living in this for a year and putting it through its paces, our opinions have totally changed and we'll get into that more during the review. To start off, let's go inside. Come on in. This is the dining area. The F2114 has this large dining table which could easily accommodate four people while eating. And while we're not out exploring the world or sleeping, this is where Jessica and I spend the majority of our day getting our work done. These cushions are not very firm, so sitting here for long periods of time can get a little uncomfortable. We've made this better by getting these risers for our laptops, and I even use a keyboard and mouse riser to get my laptop up a little bit higher, and it's effectively a standing desk. In addition to the king-size mattress at the back of the trailer that we'll take a look at in a second, this front dining area actually converts to a queen mattress. And it's actually pretty clever the way that it does it. This table unattaches from the wall. It spans the gap between these two cushions here. You take these rear back cushions, put it on top, and voila, you've got a queen bed. Let's talk about this enclosed bathroom next. One of the things that I love is that this has a mirror on both the front and the back of the door. As simple as it sounds, the R1723 didn't have a mirror anywhere on the trailer, so it makes doing things like doing your makeup or putting in context way easier. I don't normally let people film me on the toilet, but alas, here we are. In all seriousness, I don't have that much to say about the toilet. It's a standard RV flush toilet and is pretty comfortable. With respect to the sink, it's small. We wind up usually using the sink in the kitchen to brush our teeth or wash our face to control for some of the water. One of the things we don't like about this bathroom is the comically tiny storage. There's just a very small medicine cabinet that can barely hold things like deodorant, toothpaste, and toothbrushes. We've had to buy additional organizers to hold things like shampoo, loofahs, and other kinds of bathroom accessories. So you might have to purchase additional organizers too. In addition to the toilet and the sink, this also turns into a shower by simply wrapping this shower curtain around and using this sink faucet as a shower head. One thing that I will note is that the bathroom's actually a little bit shorter than the rest of the trailer because the shower pan is raised. Yeah, I'm exactly six feet tall and my head comes within about a half inch of touching the ceiling. So if you're any taller than that, you're going to be crouching. Now time for my favorite part, the kitchen. Starting with this, the Dometic 10 series three-way fridge. We love that this fridge can easily hold about a week's worth of food for about two adults. While this fridge does hold a lot of food and generally stays cold, when it's really hot outside, like above 90 degrees, and you don't have the air conditioning running inside the trailer, which we typically don't, this has a hard time holding temperature. Also, compared to the smaller two-way fridge that we had in our Alto R1723, this thing uses a lot more propane, and even though it can run on direct current, this thing is an absolute power hog. When we drive, we turn off the propane to the trailer for safety. Recently, we tried turning this on DC power so that it could stay cold while we were driving. And we noticed after we parked at our campsite that it had used almost a third of our 200 amp hour battery. And that's with the temperature already being cold when we left our campsite. We mentioned at the top of the video that we previously had a 17 foot retractable Alto, which means it didn't have any storage above chest height we absolutely love the storage in this trailer. It has two shelves and the top one is tall enough to hold both our air fryer and our coffee machine. Moving on to the sink. This Dometic product is pretty cool. This has a tempered glass top, which when shut gives you additional counter space that you can use if you're not actively using the faucet. You simply lift it up and you can fold your faucet and you've got hot and cold water. It's worth mentioning sometimes this gets a little wobbly and you have to tighten it with a wrench, but generally it's not problematic and we use it just fine. Similar to the sink, the two burner stove has a tempered glass countertop, which offers you additional counter space when it's not being used. Our previous Alto had a very similar stove, so we've been using a model like this for a few years and we've literally never had an issue. Okay, let me know when you're going. 
Only if you have energy. Oh, I have tons of energy. Ready? Let's get it. Okay. Below the sink, we have additional storage. You'll notice that we've got three shelves, all of which slide in and out, and we've even got a little built-in tray for our utensils. We've also got some larger storage down there at the bottom for large boxes. And below our two burner stove, we have three massive drawers, the top of which we use as a pantry. The second one we use for all of our tech items. And the third is where we keep our trash. This F2114 also has a microwave. We absolutely love this option. We don't use it as much anymore now that we have an air fryer on board. However, it's still super handy, especially when we wanna do things like defrost frozen food or maybe heat up some butter real quick. We primarily dry camp or boondock, which means we don't have shore power or electrical hookups at our campsites. What's really cool is we have an inverter, which means we can run our microwave off of batteries. And it's super neat to be able to use a microwave literally in the middle of nowhere. Next, let's talk about some of the electrical panels that are located above the faucet. Starting with our tank mount Monitor, which shows us how full our tanks are. The new F2114 ship with a 26 gallon freshwater tank, a 24 gallon gray water tank, which holds everything that goes down the sink or the shower, and a 14 gallon black water tank, which holds everything that goes down the toilet. Coming from a smaller 17 foot trailer, this has actually been a pretty huge upgrade for us, and it's generally been more than enough capacity for our needs, even considering that we dry camp and we have to bring in all of our water and haul out all of our own waste. We can generally camp places for about three to five days using the toilet as much as we need without risk of running out of capacity. The gray tank does fill up pretty quickly if we're taking showers every day, so we just have to be a little bit more diligent about how much water we use. However, it's really convenient in warmer months when we can use the outdoor shower with biodegradable soap and there's no risk of filling up our gray tank. Of course, we'd love it if all the tanks were a little bit bigger, but it's also important to remember the more water you carry, the more weight you carry, and you've got to spend gas towing that. So we're pretty comfortable with the size of the tanks that are built into this trailer. Safari condo included four USB ports that are above the kitchen. Honestly, we don't use them very much because they're kind of in an inconvenient spot right above the kitchen sink. The Truma Combi heating appliance is an absolute rock star. We've had it in both of our trailers. It effortlessly and efficiently heats up our water and our air, either using propane or electricity if you're plugged into shore power. It's an incredibly efficient appliance using very little propane. It gets up to temperature very quickly. It's super easy to winterize, and I hope Safari Condo never stops installing these in their trailers. One of the last things I wanna talk about this kitchen is this big, beautiful window that opens up to the front yard. Not only do you get excellent views while you're cooking, but it's really cleverly designed because when you're cooking on this two burner stove, and you have the fan turned on, all of the air gets pulled in and sucked out for excellent ventilation. While we're talking about ventilation, this F2114 has the Dometic brand Fantastic Vent Fan. Generally, it works pretty great and stays relatively quiet at low speeds. We keep the fan running at night on the lowest speed, even in the coldest of temperatures while we sleep to prevent condensation from building up inside of the trailer. One small gripe that we have about the Dometic Fantastic Fan is that it has a rain sensor and if it detects moisture outside, it'll automatically close to prevent rain from coming in. This is obviously great because we don't want a wet trailer, but it's also inconvenient because it'll get super swampy in here, especially if you're camping in places that have high humidity. We have heard that there is a hard rain cover that you can install on the outside of your trailer to prevent this from happening, but it's worth mentioning in our 17 foot Alto, we had the max fan upgrade. This has a cover that automatically keeps rain from coming in when it's in operation. And if that option is available to you when you pick your trailer, I would strongly recommend getting it. And that leads us to our living space. One thing I absolutely love about this back portion is how much storage it has. It runs all the way from the kitchen, wraps around the back, comes over here, and finally ends in this closet with a rod so that you can hang anything that you need to. We love how much storage this has and we think it's a perfect option for people who full-time or who just are planning on going on longer trips. You'll never run out of storage. And that brings us to this couch. I'm gonna shoot you straight. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world and definitely isn't gonna replace your comfy couch at home. Safari Condo does provide these wedges that allows for the cushions to sit at a reasonably comfortable angle. It fits about five to six people back here and it's definitely a comfortable enough place for you to watch some TV or a movie. One of the things we do love about this area are these enormous storage spaces that are under the bench. 
You can either access it via these sliding doors right here, or alternatively, there's a hinge so that you can just simply lift the bench up. Another thing that we love about this back area is that Safari Condo included this cool long storage space. We're currently holding our sleeping bags and camping equipment here, but we think that this space would also be really good for kind of long bulky items like skis, snowboards, or snowshoes. And turning the couch into the bed is super easy. All you need to do is take these cushions, place them in the gap, and it easily goes from this to this. While turning the couch into the bed configuration really is that easy, making the bed is a whole different story. In fact, it's one of our least favorite things about this trailer. The way that the cushions are constructed, you can't fit sheets around the corners of the bed and instead have to tuck sheets between the cushions and the wall. The cushions butt up right against the wall and so it winds up being a really tight squeeze. We both consider ourselves pretty active people, but making the bed is pretty physically demanding. I wind up feeling like I'm wrestling the sheets whenever I make the bed. We've spoken to other Elto owners about this problem and the way that most people solve for it is getting a two person sleeping bag, which we personally haven't tried. The bed itself is pretty firm, about an eight out of 10. We had the memory foam option in our previous trailer and it was pretty comfortable. So if you have a bad back or just prefer something a little bit softer, you might wanna consider that or a mattress topper. One of the other things that we wanted to point out back here are these reading lights. We think they're kind of nice when you're trying to go to bed. They also happen to have a USB port in them. While it's nice in theory, it just kind of leaves the cords dangling. And if you're trying to charge your cell phone while you're sleeping, you wind up feeling like you're going to roll over the cord and break the USB port, which is maybe not the best choice. Another thing that we wanted to point out is that unlike the R1723, there's no shelf in the corner. We eat dinner back here a lot or watch a movie before going to bed and we never have any place to put our drink or glass of wine. We really think that Safari Condo should put a shelf back here just like in the R1723. Or alternatively, you might wanna consider getting some kind of shelf that you can attach with command strips or suction cups. This F2114 has a 2000 watt inverter installed, which means we can power high draw alternating current appliances like our microwave, our air fryer, or our coffee machine. Additionally, this puts out pure sine wave power so we can use it for sensitive electronics like camera gear or laptops. This is an absolute game changer for us and a complete necessity if you're somebody who works from the road. You'll notice that we've got a dedicated outlet over here for our inverter with two extension cords, one that branches off to the right that we use for our coffee maker and our air fryer that we set over on that side of the counter. This other cable drapes over the door and goes behind our table and we use that to plug in our two laptops. One of the reasons we originally bought our Alto was because of how lightweight it was thanks to the alu fiber walls. So it's definitely a lightweight material. It's also not a great insulator. So sometimes we struggled with it being too hot or too cold in the trailer. We were curious to see exactly how the F2114 would compare to the 1723, which did not handle heat well. I'm happy to report the F2114 is less of a greenhouse and we're able to stay at higher temperatures without air conditioning more comfortably. And on that note, we love how lightweight this trailer is. It only weighs 2,400 pounds and is towable with our midsize SUV, a Highlander Hybrid. One of the things that we love about this trailer is how usable the outdoor space is. For example, there's this handy dandy screen door that I can so comfortably move back and forth uh, that's super easy to use. This built-in Fiamma awning has been awesome. It's incredibly easy to deploy, which is a huge step up from some of the more manual awnings. It's also super versatile. You can either stake it to the ground or there's custom mounting points so that you can attach it to the trailer. It's been very sturdy in the wind and it has an LED light bar so that your dining area can be illuminated at night. We also love this railing, which lets you take the dining table inside and move it outside. In our first impressions video, we thought this was kind of a neat idea and it turns out in practice, it actually is. We love that you can have some outdoor dining space without carrying around extra equipment. And we love that the awning just pops right out. So if it's raining, you can still have a meal outside. Getting this next option probably depends on where and how you like to camp but Jess and I absolutely love this double propane tank option. We primarily boondock or dry camp, which means we either have to bring or make a lot of our own power. We use tons of propane to heat air, water, cool our refrigerator, and of course, stovetop cooking. So arriving at the campsite with 40 pounds of propane means we never have to worry about running out. While we're on the topic of power, this trailer has a 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Like we
we mentioned at the top of the video, Jess and I both live and work full time in this trailer, which means we use a ton of power. Things like laptops, drones, cameras. And on top of that, we're a little bit of energy hogs using appliances like our coffee machine and our air fryer. A battery of this size is way more than enough energy for your average RVer, especially when coupled with the awesome 400 watts of solar that are up on the roof, which have no problem taking this trailer's battery from empty to full on a sunny day. Even then, since we work remotely, we also travel with the EcoFlow Delta Pro, which is a solar generator packing an extra 3.6 kilowatt hours of power that we keep in the trailer's basement. Another nice touch that Safari Condo added to this trailer is a metal battery box with security screws. This absolutely gives us peace of mind while we're out camping, knowing that someone's not just gonna walk up to a plastic battery box and take away our very expensive lithium battery while we're out away from the trailer. Because we like to boondock and dry camp, we're always thinking about how much gray tank storage we have. We love that this trailer comes with an outdoor shower so that if we're planning on staying at a campsite for a week or so, we don't have to worry about taking up precious gray tank storage by taking an indoor shower. This outdoor shower has hot and cold water so that you can get the perfect temperature which feels awesome after a long sweaty day of hiking or hitting up some hot springs. In case you haven't figured it out yet, Jess and I are absolutely in love with all of the storage options that are available in this trailer. Another nice feature that we love, all of the lower storage that we showed you inside of the trailer are accessible from these rear cubbies on the outside. This is really nice because if you store items under the couch area when it's made in the bed configuration, you don't actually have to unmake the bed to access that storage. You can simply walk outside, open these up, grab whatever you need, and head right back inside. If you haven't heard about this next feature before, I am extremely excited to introduce you to caravan movers. Jess and I have had this option on both Altos that we've towed, and it is absolutely our favorite thing about these trailers. Again, this option probably depends on how you like to camp and where you like to camp, but these give us so many options, especially when we're camping in dispersed areas or in smaller sites that don't typically accommodate large trailers. They help us turn the trailer around on a dime. For example, if we're on some very narrow roads where there's no other place to turn around, they've also helped us maneuver into some very tight campsites. And probably the handiest feature, we use it literally every time we hitch up to our tow vehicle, which means no more backing up and guessing if you're in the right spot. We originally purchased the smaller Alto R1723 in large part because of its lightweightness and its ability to be towed by a midsize SUV. Being able to tow a trailer and still get close to 30 miles per gallon after dropping it off at the campsite is an incredible advantage. The F2114 shares this awesome characteristic while being a more practical trailer to live and work in full time as a family of two thanks to its abundant storage and additional living space. Thanks to Safari Condo's world-class engineering and innovative design, this trailer is the most stunning at the campground, yet still holds up to some serious abuse, easily navigating dispersed camping trails and not sacrificing comfort. There's no wonder why this trailer has a high demand and cult-like following, retaining its value like no other and often selling secondhand for as much and sometimes more than new models. We could talk for hours about this trailer, but hopefully this provides you a pretty good overview of our experience over the past year. We're just borrowing this trailer from Safari Condo though, so sadly we have to turn it back in in a few weeks. But we are going to be replacing it with something really, really cool. So stay tuned and subscribe to see what's next. And on that note, we've just hit our 1,000 subscribers, so if you've been following along, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much for your support. We love making these videos for you. The best thing that you can do to help us continue to grow, leave us a comment below. Let us know what we're doing right. Let us know ways that we can improve. And while you're in the comments section, let us know if you have any questions about this awesome trailer. In the meantime, we'll see you down the road. <laughs> Ready? Do you want me to do this No, one? no, no, no. But after living in this for a year, ready? Look at the But. Ding dong. <laughs>